Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about what are agentic multi-agent systems and how they work. We have already talked about what is this AI agent and what they really do. Well, if you're not really watched that video, I'll just give you a quick summary of what an AI agent is. An AI agent is a fully autonomous system that operates independently over extended period using various tools to accomplish the task. It can perceive, decide and act in an environment based on the goal that you give it to. And these agents are so powerful that they can autonomously act on behalf of you by using various different technologies such as uh, the Cloud Anthropix MCP server which actually does the exact same operation by gaining access to your file system and it will do the operation based on the goal that you give it. For example, if you ask it to go and change the uh, log files uh, extension, it will go change that for you using the power of MCP by gaining the access of the file system. Similarly, if you ask the, um, the agent to go and create a database in the Docker container, it it will do it for you because the agent will have those ability to access those systems. That is how this agent actually works and we have already talked about it and we also have got our own MCP Playwright server as well as the MCP database server which does those operations for you. So that is an AI agent in a nutshell. But now you may have already guessed what is this agentic multi-agent because it says multi-agent which means it's going to be a collections or a group of agent which is going to perform those operations. You guessed it right. Well, uh, agentic multi-agent is a network of multiple AI agents and each with a role working collaboratively or even competitively towards a specific goal that you throw it. These agents may communicate, delegate and coordinate dynamically to perform or achieve those operations. That is the power of this agentic multi-agent systems. They are so good that they also know that how to accomplish a task and how to make the work efficiently done and give you the response that you're looking for. Just think of these agents as a group of domain experts for a specific task. For instance, just assume that this agent is pretty good in the banking domain and this agent is pretty good in the healthcare and this guy is pretty good in searching online to get the answer that are relevant details and documents for you and maybe this agent is pretty good in writing code to accomplish the same task to analyze whatever that you have analyzed from the online write the code and then send it to these agent to make the operation so these coordinations can also be happening among these agent itself to accomplish this task. This is so powerful because this is what exactly many companies are now trying to build like a like an army of agents where this is going to achieve a specific task for you without you sweating by creating multiple different uh, agents and uh, asking one agent all the time. Rather, you can just throw it to the group of agent using this multi-agentic system. They will do it for you. This is scary and quite amazing. This is what is the uh, agentic multi-agent system that you can think of. And as that said, this agent will be pretty good. As it said, uh, it can do a task specialization like divide and conquer. It can do things parallelly and also it can keep scaling based on the number of agent that you create on the network. And also you can, uh, and also these agents can be modular and reusable. They can be emergent intelligent, which means they keep on learning to become more intelligent for you. And they can be dynamically adaptable based on the questions and based on the tasks that you, that you give it to it. And also it works on a complex workflow automation to achieve those operations. So these kind of things are pretty much like a RPA systems, but they are very intelligent than an RPA itself in a nutshell. So that's the power of the agentic multi-agent system. Now let's see an example of the real world agentic multi-agent system. Have you heard about the Manas from Chinese company? That's exactly doing the same thing that we're talking about. Similarly, there is something called as Magentic One, which actually do the exact same thing as well. It's from Microsoft and it does these same kind of operation like a group of the army of the AI agent which does those operations for you. And also there is something called as Agile Coder which does the exact same thing by doing coding operation in multiple different agent to get the job done. So these are the real world agentic multi-agent system. But now we are gonna see our own custom agentic multi-agent system like how I built it in very, very less number of code to achieve these operation. You can see that this is a simple uh, custom agentic multi-agent system where I'll be using my local large language model to perform these operation uh, using QN 2.5 latest model. That's all. It's a very, very super simple model as well and I'm running everything on my local Mac operating system. And you know what? This is using a very, very small 
uh, small parameterized version of the uh, model as well and it don't have access to the internet so the information that you get will not be as accurate as you get from the uh, open ai but it still works and i will show you how it actually works so you see that this guy is a uh, is the olama which we're going to ask the question to which is going to be the model that we're going to be using so we are going to have a research agent so this agent's main functionality is going to research on the given topic and then it will give you a real world example and then it will give you uh, a response and then once the response is fully okay then it will say that research completed only then uh, it will give you the research completed answer there and then it will go to the coordinator agent where this coordinator agent's job is to coordinate on what is the next step that it has to do so because you have got the research agent then the next step is that the coordinator agent will send it to the summarizer agent where the agent's task is to go and summarize the key points and organize the sections and create a bullet point and make it so concise so that it can be easily readable by the user who has asked that question so that is what this uh, summarizer agent and then it will finally give you a response saying the summary complete and then it will say terminate that's what this guy will do uh, in the meantime if there is any exception happens or if there is any uh, any errors happen or maybe the result which is generated by the summarizer agent is not quite up to date or quite relevant then it will go to a fallback method where it will keep on uh, getting all these outputs um, to be regenerated from these agents and then it will uh, give you uh, the response back so this is how the coordinator agent will keep on doing that for you so it, it knows that the response which is coming up is not up to date or up to the mark so it will keep asking the researcher agent to get even more detail and similarly the summarizer agent to summarize the information even better and then get the response and if the coordinator agent is happy with the response which is coming up then it will uh, it will finally do a combined output of all the responses and then it will uh, give a summary in the research summary over here so in a nutshell there are three agents over here one is the researcher agent another one is the summarizer agent and there is a coordinator agent and there is going to be a group communication happen among all these agent to make an uh, task achievable and this kind of multi-agent system we can build using many different libraries available today some of them are Langchain and Langsmith. You can also use Autogen from Microsoft and Google ADK or the Agent Development Kit. We can also use that. You can also use the Llama Index if you wanted to. So there are many different tools available and you can use these tools to build this agentic multi-agent system. We also have a course in our Udemy where we have built this entire uh, thing uh, using uh, Langchain as you can see over here where we are going to be talking about how you can run the uh, large language model using Olam and how you can work with uh, the lang chain the basic understanding of the lang chains and how you can work with the chat history create the chatbot using the streamlit applications and create a rag applications and how you can uh, do a tool callings and function callings and how you can create an ai agents and then how you can evaluate all these operations that you have built over here uh, using deep eval and raga so that's all covered in this particular course so if you have really not watched it before i highly recommend you to do so that's about the the actual crux of how you can uh, do everything from this particular uh, lang chain for that matter well as i said i'll quickly show you a demo of how all these operations really works all right as you can see over here i'm actually uh, writing a simple code using autogen over here uh, and you can see that i'm using a, uh, a simple uh, configuration for my Olama, which so this is the Llama 3.2 uh, model which I'm using over here, uh, and uh, I'm using the uh, Olama running within my local machine, and this is the temperature as well, and this is the uh, the assistant agent which is an uh, researcher agent which is going to perform these operations. So basically, I'm going to say a system message here saying you are a researcher, provide a concise information on the given topic, focus on finding the relevant and accurate information about the subject matter. After providing your research, say research complete to indicate you are done, right? So maybe there is a summarizer agent which is going to do a summary of the uh, of the points which is given by the researcher agent, uh, and then finally there is also a planner agent which is going to do a coordination between 
these two agents, the research agent as well as the summarizer agent. And once it is happy with the summary of the responses and the points which is generated by the researcher agent, it will say terminate over here. That is how things will happen uh, over here. And we also have got a group chat class which is going to register all the agents that we have got, which is the planner, researcher, and summarizer. Uh, and it is going to give you, it is going to do like a 20 rounds of tool call uh, un unless until you actually stop in the middle. Uh, and it will keep on doing that for you. And then it will do the speaker selection automatically. So I'll show you how the speaker selection works there. And there is a group chat manager, which is going to do, uh, which is going to get the group chat as well as the, the LLM configurations. Uh, and that's it. And this is the, this is the, this is the code which we are going to be instantiate uh, over here as the initiate chat. And we are going to uh, get the, uh, the, question that we are looking for. So I'm going to say, find information on the impact of the AI in education and summarize it. This is the question that I'm asking. And what's going to happen is, it's going to go and ask multiple different agent to achieve this uh, this operation for us over here. So the number of lines of code that I have written is just 72 lines of code, including the try catch blocks and some comments here and there. But it is going to do a lot of different operation for you. So I'm going to quickly show you how it actually works. The moment I run this particular code over here, Look at that. This is going to invoke this uh, chat manager, which is the planner. It says, find the information on the impact of AI in education and summarize it. The first thing is going to say, okay, I need to invoke the researcher agent. It knows that it needs to invoke the researcher agents. So it's going to go and invoke that. And it, this guy will give you some positive impacts and negative impacts and future direction. And it says that the research is complete. And then it's going to go and invoke the summarizer agent where it's going to say, okay, here is the concise summary of the impact of the artificial in intelligence in the education and it's going to give you the response. And then it's going to say, okay, the next speaker is again summarizer agent, but summarizer agent, since it is terminated, now it's not going to do anything for you over there. And it's going to say, I kept the summary concise while maintaining the key point from the original research. If you'd like me to expand, modify uh, anything and feel free to ask. So they are communicating themselves. I'm not really asking that question. They are communicating themselves to do it. Uh, and finally, you see that the summarizer agent is giving the information saying terminate, which means it's not ready to do anything any further. Uh, and then uh, you will notice that it is, it is going to give you the response over here. So this is how the agents are going to communicate for you over here. It depends on the question that you're really asking in. Now, if you ask some other questions, the agents will keep on uh, talking even further uh, in between themselves. For instance, I'm going to say, what are the best countries to live in the world and also research which com country is less impacted with AI influence. Something I want to really ask. Uh, we'll see if uh, our AI agent can really get those response for me. So it's going to start doing it over here. Uh, you can see that. Now it's see it's going to give me the researcher agent is going to give me the response and then the summarize, uh, summarizer agent is coming up over there and it's summarizing the responses uh, and it's again going to call the uh, chat manager uh, over here. Um, it's going to give me the response. I think because the response that it has given already is pretty close to what we're looking for. So the planner says that, okay, terminate. The answer looks quite right. So it has terminated for me over here. But if you want to keep on refining the response for you, you can also change the prompt over here. So you are a planner, uh, coordinate the workflow between the research and summarizer. Uh, once you receive the final summary, uh, reply terminate to end the conversation, return the response, right? So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to say uh, try to analyze summary and if you are still not happy, try to reinitiate the process. And once you are happy, then you say... Uh, reply with uh, terminates uh, over here, right? So this is something which I'm telling the uh, the planner uh, to keep on digging and get the response as much as possible. So this is something you're fine tuning your prompt uh, to to make sure that the response that you are getting in uh, is actually uh, is something that you're looking for uh, or not. So see that now uh, the researcher agent has given me this particular response. It's keep on calling the researcher agent again and again and again. See that is what the planet is doing. It's still not happy with the answer which has been generated. And finally, it feels like, okay, there we go. Now the response seems to be okay. Then it's sending it to the uh, summarizer agent, but still it's uh, thinking that there may be still a few more 
updation needs to happen uh, but looks like the researcher agent has given whatever that it can uh, get out of and then it's giving you that this research is completed and finally the planner agent is again uh, asking that i'm glad you could summarize the information but based on my analysis seems that bhutan and this country are potentially the candidates of being less less impacted by the ai influence due to their limited technology advancement and strong cultural heritage so it's now again asking the research agent can you get me some more information see now with simple change of a prompt it can keep on asking or invoking the research agent to get a even more fine tuned response and now look at that now the research agent is giving even more responses for me over there uh, and now it's uh, calling the summarizer agent uh, and then finally uh, it's terminating see the research agent has finally terminate uh, over here uh, and look at that now that the planner is giving me that uh, it is finding that this answer is more refined than what it thought before uh, and it is finally going to quit over there so this is quite amazing right like now these these agents are talking among themselves to get a response that it feels that it is fine. That is the reason why I told you that these agents are more like a domain expert where it's going to do things for me over there. Uh, and finally, it's going to quit over there. And there is a limitation within my own machine where I can't really do quite a lot of different operations simultaneously because already my fans are cranking uh, to, uh, to actually get you the actual response uh, correctly or fastly. But at least now you can see that the research is completed uh, even by the planner uh, and the response that you have got over here is the actual up-to-date information uh, based on the question that you have thrown to it. So this is the power of the agentic multi-agent system where it's going to keep on talking among themselves and get you the answer that you're looking for. Uh, and this is the world that we are heading towards right now where these agents are going to be like an army of AI agents who's going to do all these things for us, removing us, and get the responses back. So let me know your thoughts about all these craziness happening in the technology. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.